Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we will continue the discussion on entrepreneurship. This is our second topic, we have uh, job opportunities in entrepreneurship. So let's get started. So like um, our first topic, again I would like to show you that this is based on milk. So we are following um, the guidelines and uh, topics stipulated in most essential learning competencies so we are already on the second week exploring job opportunities for entrepreneurship as a career so before we start uh, let's read a quote from robert kiyosaki he's a one of uh, my favorite authors um you can go ahead and check out his uh, books, uh, particularly about Rich Dad and Poor Dad. That's a highly recommendable book for investing. So everyone can tell you the risk, but an entrepreneur sees the reward. So as we go along this topic, we will understand that a majority of aspiring entrepreneurs sees the risk and i guess um normal lang yan ano? to put it in the vernacular it's normal na makita mo yung problema or anticipate mo yung problem however let's not drown ourselves with problems about what if this happens what if that happens but focus on the reward ano ba yung magiging benefit not just for me as a seller, but also for the, the buyer and also for my community if I would become an entrepreneur. So, most of the time, ano, um, being a, a professor in a university, um, I have to be honest with you, pagka narinig yung salitang entrepreneurship, students um, tend to belittle the, the course. Then nasabi nila, entrepreneurship, Eh, ano magiging trabaho ko when I graduate? Ah, entrepreneurship, ah, ano, ano mangyayari sa akin when I graduate? Hindi yan ang gusto ko. Gusto ko maging accountant. I would like to become uh, employed in a bank. No? Gusto ko maging um, marketer. No? This and that. Okay? But, to tell you quite honestly, during the time of pandemic, maraming tao na wala ng trabaho. Many people lost their jobs and what you would notice is that all of them had a fallback or fell back into what? Selling. Online selling. Na? Later on, makikita ninyo yung mga stories na yan as we go along this discussion. So, one of the many job opportunities na pwede mo makuha if you would take up entrepreneurship. And this is again, just to correct the notion na walang trabaho when you choose entrepreneurship. That's very wrong. Ano? There are a lot of jobs that you can go to when you choose entrepreneurship. So one of them would be uh, becoming a business consultant. So business consultants provide management consulting to help organizations improve their performance and efficiency. And then these professionals analyze businesses and create solutions while also helping companies meet their goals. So business consultants uh, go to the actual site, identify problems to fix and other areas for improvement. So ito yung isa sa mga pwede mong gawin. Ano? If you are uh, an entrepreneurship graduate, you can become a business consultant. Why? Because you are trained in many aspects of business. No? Pagka natapos mo yung entrepreneurship uh, as a college degree, there will be business simulation, business plan, feasibility plan. So, hasang-hasa ka na. No? Hindi ka makakatapos ng uh, college without launching your own um, mini business or simulated business. So, kahit sabihin lang, if graduate ka pa lang, eh, wala ka pang masyadong experience. Well, that might be true. You have the idea. No? Kasi, again, you will be trained on how to run a business. No? And when you, di when you do, of course, you have an advantage over someone who, still, who wants to start up a business na wala pang experience. And you can serve as a consultant for them. Now, in the long run, kapag uh, mahaba na experience mo, of course, you can be a business consultant. Ano? If your uh, profile 
would already speak for you that you have um, launched successful businesses, health businesses, um, escape bankruptcy, okay, recover, then yes, you can become a business consultant. Another job opportunity you can explore is becoming a sales manager, okay? So, sales manager is someone who is responsible for leading and guiding a team of salespeople in an organization. They set goals and quotas, build a sales plan, analyze data, assign sales training, and sales territories, mentor the members of his and her sales team, and are involved in the hiring and firing process. So, um, this is true, no? Just to share my experience, I have students in the past who graduated uh, with business, uh, with entrepreneurship uh, course. They are now uh, successful managers from different car dealerships no? or any other business na uh, involved with sales. So, may student ako na sa Ford, meron na sa Nissan, meron na sa Hyundai. They are managers and before they became managers no they were top sellers from their uh from uh their years of experience you know? so hindi porket entrepreneurship graduate ka hindi ka pwede makapasok dito in fact yun nga ang gusto ng mga uh, auto dealers no automotive company because you have business sense and may idea ka how to run a business okay and um Apart from that, you are trained on sales, selling. Kasi part yan ng entrepreneurship eh. Kailangan mo magbenta, no? You would have to sell things. Okay? So, if you're selling things, you know how to convince a customer, um, identify what are the needs of the customer, paano mo sila ma, ma, ma-address yung kanilang needs, no? and propose the unique selling point of the product whatever it is it may be a car it may be a motorcycle uh house house and lot no meron din akong mga students or graduates rather na nasa real estate na no and um again ito isang job opportunity that can be explored if you would take up entrepreneurship so ayan here are other um roles under uh, becoming a sales manager okay oversee regional and local sales resolve customer complaints yeah no? common complaints of customers prepare budgets have it approved monitor customer preferences ano ba yung mga gusto ng customer because customer preferences change no nagbabago bago yan eh so analyze sales statistics project sales uh, uh, project sales rather and determine their profitability determine discount rates plan and coordinate training programs so on and so forth so you see and dami mong pwedeng gawin ano as a sales manager and most of the time you will start from uh, a lower ranking uh, officer get yourself trained and become a sales manager another uh, work that you can do uh, being a graduate of entrepreneurship is to be involved in research and development. No? So research and development managers oversee research activities and develop knowledge-based products for a company. Uh, they develop research programs incorporating current developments to improve existing products and study the potential of new products. So hindi lang sa business, ano, pwede kang ma-involve, uh, ma-involve if you would like to become a research and development manager or officer. Pwede ka rin sa Department of Science and Technology. Di ba ngayon, no, during the time of pandemic, makikita nyo madalas sa balita yung Okta Research Group. So, Okta Research Group, no, um, they are involved with um, uh, researches, okay, dealing with the technology, commerce, health, many areas, ano. So, Bakit uh, very important yung research and development? Ano? Again, just to highlight, you senior high school students, I, I'm assuming most of you who are watching are senior high school students. At your level, ano, as a senior high school student, meron na kagad kayong practical research 1 and practical research 2. 
Siguro magtataka kayo bakit. Ano? Why do we have the, those subjects? Okay? It's because as early as your age, you are being trained to become researchers. No? To become heavily involved in researching. Bakit? Kasi with research, no, we develop new things. We get answers for many problems. Lahat ng mga ina-enjoy natin ngayon, ano, yung computer, yung internet, cell phones, uh, transportation, everything is brought upon by researching. No, hindi tayo makakarating sa point na to kung walang mga tao na nag-research in the past. And that is something that you would probably want to explore kung uh, if you're naturally uh, inquisitive, no, curious, then you might want to consider a uh, work in research and development. And uh, being an entrepreneurship grad is uh, a, a path that you can uh, choose. Okay? So, yeah, napakaganda niya. Ako, uh, yours truly is a research uh, development unit head in uh, my university. So, I'm also heavily involved in research. No? So, ganun ka-importante yung research. Hindi lang yung mga bata ang nag-research. Moreover, the faculty, administrators, and there are branches of the government who are heavily involved in research. And of course, um, if you are an entrepreneurship grad, pwede ka mag- maging teacher or a teacher of entrepreneurship. Although I am not an entrepreneurship grad, I also teach entrepreneurship. So here's a photo of me and my students in the past when we tried to launch uh, a small business within the school grounds. So, um, yan ano? Entrepreneurship teachers inspire students how to increase their entrepreneurial intention uh, through acquiring the attitude towards entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship teachers lay the foundation for the development of our social impact and responsibility curriculum through the study of budget saving and wealth creation. So, um, of course, who else can be the better teacher for um, entrepreneurship than uh, an entrepreneurship graduate? So, pwede kang maging teacher. No? Pwede mong ituro yung subject na yan if you are a graduate of this course. You can also be a human uh, resource recruiter, meaning ikaw yung nag interview nagpo-profile ng mga applicants in a specific business. No? Uh, Human resource manager, recruiter, finds job candidates and gets them hired. This job is very specific. Corporate HR recruiter are generally hired by large company to coordinate the recruitment efforts of the entire company. So, napakagandang um, job opportunity yan, ano? For an entrepreneurship graduate. So, of course, since business-minded ka, you are well-rounded when it comes to business, you can be a recruiter. Pwede ka sa human resource. Kasi when you interview people, when you ask them questions, profile them, alam mo kung saan mo sila ilalagay. Bakit? Kasi ikaw yung trained eh. Ikaw yung marunong no, sa iba't ibang areas ng business. Ay, itong tao na to, mukhang magaling to sa uh, accounting, then we can put him in a, him or her in finance or the accounting department. Ay, ito, mukhang mag- maganda yung kanyang marketing sense, no? advertising and all. So, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa marketing department. No? Itong tao naman to very technical. Alam niya mag-operate ng machines at all. Ah, pwede kitang ilagay sa operations. So, you see, all of those things are um, being done by a recruiter. And an entrepreneurship graduate can become a recruiter as well. And then, of course, you can become a venture creator. So, venture creators are different from entrepreneurs in the way that they are more focused on creating businesses that are exit-worthy. No? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng exit-worthy? So, they will go to a business to invest, more of an investor. So, ito, pwede mo tong maging trabaho later on in your life when you have established... Um, many businesses, marami ka ng capital or you have a lot of money to invest in um, new ventures. Yan, yan, yan yung title, new venture. So, when you see a small business, you think na meron silang potential, you can invest on them. Okay? 
and you will exit later on. Kaya nga exit worthy, no? Um, example niyan si Injap siya. No? Siya yung founder ng Mang Inasal, which uh, later on binenta niya sa Jollibee, ano? So, very, very uh, brilliant plan. So, gumawa siya ng isang business, no? pinalaki niya, it caught the attention of Jollibee, binili ng Jollibee, and up until now, wala na siyang ginagawa doon. Uh, well, actually, he's just a board member. No, pero very minimal na lang yung participation niya. And he still gets to earn money from Jollibee. Kumikita pa rin siya sa Jollibee through Mang Inasal. Na ang role na lang niya is a consultant. No? You see, napakagandang trabaho niya. Ano? And yan, entrepreneurship, pwedeng pwede tayo dyan. Ano? So, he's a modern day ty- tycoon, net worth 33.7 billion. Ganun siya kayaman. Ano? So, wag natin ismulin pag sinabi natin entrepreneurship na parang wala kang trabaho or hindi siya magandang career. Kung walang businesses, walang mag-hire sa ating lahat. Yan ang tatandaan ninyo. No? So, very important yung businesses. Okay? And then, you can also become a business reporter. Business reporter gathers and analyzes facts with regards to events that are newsworthy. They collect information through investigation, research, observation, or interview. So, pwede kang ma-hire ng um, networks, no? So, maybe they will ask you to take mass communication units, pero again, you must be grounded in business kasi aanhin naman yung isang mass, H, uh, mass communication graduate if they are not familiar with business practices. So, maganda pa rin yung may idea sa business. No? So, you can be a business reporter, no? You can write for the newspaper or digital uh, news online or become an, a news anchor or a field reporter. Napakadami mong pwedeng gawin. Like ito si Tina Marasigan is an example of a business reporter. So, as you can see, ang daming pwedeng maging trabaho no? sa entrepreneurship. So, again, no, I would like to dispute the fact na pagka business graduate ka, or entrepreneurship graduate to be exact, eh walang trabaho. Kasi you will just ra- be running the business. Hindi po totoo yan. No? Napakadami yung trabaho ang pwede mong pasukin. And the good thing is that if you have decided that you would like to create your own businesses, you, you are the boss. No? You report to no one but your customers. So, now, we would like to identify ano ba yung mga qualities of an entrepreneur. No? They have high initiative. Kasi, of course, you are starting your business. No, may initiative ka. Gusto mo ikaw ang taga-simula. No? You have wide knowledge. You're willing to assume risk. You're open-minded and very optimistic. Adaptable. Highly confident. Uh, has leadership qualities. Who, uh, good orientation towards hard work. So, ito yung ilan sa mga qualities of an entrepreneur. Now, there is a test that you can take online for free. No? Wala ka namang babayaran. No? Um, I would put the link here in the description. So, pwede nyo siyang i-check. No? And then, test your entrepreneurial potential. Okay? So, this is what I did with my class. No? I asked them to um, answer the self-assessment tool and then I have them post the result in our Google Classroom. So, makikita mo dyan yung result mo. You can print it save, it, save it as PDF, and then makikita mo ano ba yung mga strengths and weaknesses mo. This is something that you can do, so you would know what your pot- uh, entrepreneurship potentials are. So, that's it. I hope you have learned uh, something from this uh, discussion. For more videos like this, you can check out my playlist. Now, I have tons and tons of content apart from toys, which you can see. Uh, I have discussions for business, research, um, statistics, and many other subjects. And just uh, feel free to explore them. And then you can reach me out on the following um, platforms. No? I might not be able to reply to you quickly, but uh, I, try, I will try to respond as soon as I can whenever I'm free. So, thank you so much and uh, I will see you on the next video. Stay safe and God bless everyone.